Bereshit, the first ever privately funded and Israeli-made lunar lander in history, blasted off Thursday night. And if it lands successfully on the moon in April as scheduled, this will also be the fourth ever controlled soft landing on the lunar surface as well, following the United States, Russia, and China. But first, before arriving on the moon, the Bereshit must travel upwards of 4 million miles, or 6.5 million kilometers around the Earth, aboard the Falcon 9 rocket designed by Elon Musk's SpaceX company. And the flight path for the rocket spirals in an increasingly wide orbit around the globe until it's far enough away to land on the moon, with the whole journey expected to take roughly two months. This as opposed to a direct flight that would only be around 240,000 miles, or just over 386,000 kilometers away. Finally, once it arrives, the Bereshit will take photos and conduct a number of tests, like measuring the moon's magnetic fields. Regardless of the tests, however, this moment is being hailed as monumental in Israel, as leaders across both the private sector and the government praised Israeli innovation and entrepreneurial spirit. Especially Prime Minister Netanyahu, who watched the launch live from Israel alongside many of the project's technicians and investors, telling them how proud they and Israel should be, and how far the nation has come to produce such visionary and independent thinkers.